Now, while this one is loading, this one was very interesting. Um, Because Dan and I, we went back and forth on whether or not this was a retro or an indie game. Um, we finally decided that technically it's indie because um, Sega sold the rights to strictly limited games. And then NN Games and West Stone and some former employees of West Stone were able to retrieve the game and actually finish it up and get it out there. Um, so... We ended, I, I, I had to like really, really research this too, like really research it. And I ended up saying that technically this would be an indie game. But what's so fascinating about this game is that, so back in 1991, yes, a little history of the game before we play. So back in 1991, they were working, West Stone was working on this game. And somehow the files got lost or they thought they were lost. And so they were able to recover them 20 years later. I think I did math right. 20 years later, they were able to recover them. Um, and so this clockwork aquar aquario is actually in the Guinness Book of World Records now as being the longest game in production. Which is pretty amazing. Um, but before we start, our next game is Clockwork Aquario. It is going, it is available on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. And it's going for the lovely price of $19.99 USD. I would like to also take this time to thank the publishers, developers, and PR for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Now let's get into it, because I've been wanting to play this. I had a hard time not playing this. Yeah, it, and the fact that they found it and was able to... Um, okay. The fact that they were able to... Um, find it and like bring it back up and finish it that's pretty cool so you have hook londo we're gonna play with elmo that's who i like and then gush so i'm gonna play with elmo i might need to adjust the sound also see she picked that up but i didn't know how to pick that up when i maybe i should have played the tutorial Probably should have. Okay. If I just kind of go through and smack, but you're supposed to be able to. Nice. There we go. Why did you throw that? I love this music. I don't know why, but I keep... The music reminds me so much of Streets of Rage. And I don't know why. The Violets of Hamill. I have to look into that. I've never heard of that game. Okay, so if I just walk into it. Oh, don't fall down there. Dang it. Dang it.
Why would you throw that? I think we're at the boss. Okay. Okay, so I died. That's fine. I died again. That's okay. Yay, we won! <laughs> This is a really pretty and gorgeous game, too. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay, so that was all me. Well, let's not fall down there again. <laughs> Wait, maybe. Hey, it is. I think that's my first continue, though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to just kind of like fight these. Ah, driving me nuts. Okay. Yeah. I wonder, can I do like this? Dang it. I think I know what I want to do. I'm just not doing very good at it. So, like, get that right. Hit one of these. There we go. I felt sorry for me. The game felt sorry for me. It gave me a power up, and I, I did not utilize that very well. Lay power up, I did not utilize very well. Oh, crap. Ugh. Crud. Girl. 
finally. We are dying rapidly here. Gave us a free life, I'll take it. Take it. Hey, she kind of sounds a little bit like Athena. We'll just do that. <laughs> Find a different way to get through the boss. What? Girl, you so strong. on the boss to me. <laughs> right. I like how it shows how she's like... Okay, that was my fault. Uh, continues we have left that doesn't re really tell you Yeah, we're definitely not getting it there. Uh, 
That's our last. Continue. <laughs> we made it to the third boss. That's fine, though. Yeah, that was our last. Continue. That's fine. I'm not even mad. Alrighty. Right, it works. We got to the third boss, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, that is Clockwork Aquari uh, Aquario. <laughs> um, and again, a very fantastic um, game. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad that they were able to remaster this and get this out there. Um, I would also like to see it come to PC as well because it, it it plays fantastic on the Nintendo Switch. Looks good. It does fit on the Switch. Um, but I would like to see it also ported to Xbox as well as PC. Um, it's a really gorgeous and beautiful game. And, it, and, you know, it's one of the things about this that makes it really, really good is the fact that it took them so long to get this game to come out because... They thought, you know, that they would not be able to recover it. So for them to be able to recover it and it still be a solid game after all these years, that that's something in itself, you know. Um, but again, Clockwork Aquario. It is available on the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. Um... um I don't know. Let's Let's take a look and see real quick. I don't mind. We play with L. Let's try Hug London, and then we'll. Then if I die with him, we'll play as um, Gush for a bit just to see. And then after that, I will take my break, and then we're gonna switch over to Xbox. See, like he actually a little more. Or is it because now I know how to play? Okay, that's kind of like they're like... That works too. still do the same basic moves. It does seem like he may be a little, like, he seems to be a little faster, which is interesting. Because usually agility, you usually find agility and speed in most of your female characters, so it's interesting that they went that route. trying to see and then this is gush okay and gush seems to be overpowered so curious <laughs> I 
Oh, we lost our head. I think that's how, when I played with L, that's how she died. Okay, I'm actually kind of liking Gush. Not gonna lie. I'm not one that would, like, speedrun. But if I were to speedrun, it would probably be how. Yeah, and I'm like, oh crap. Okay, so I accidentally killed him a second time. I was gonna say, yeah, he definitely packs a punch. So we're gonna let this run down. So we kind of see. Actually, I'm curious now. So we will, um. You know why? Because I keep trying to jump. And he's not a jumper, unfortunately. See if I can get another free life. Yo, yo. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny. Okay, I'm like, how did y'all expect for me to... I'm just kind of curious now. I would like to take him through. They, can, they take damage, like, almost kind of like Arthur does in... What you'll call it. I'm just curious to see how he would go up against the boss. Yeah, he's actually pretty OP. To be fair. And this is where we last left off. This is definitely one of those games. I think I might add it to the cards for Saturday. Did he die? No. Okay. Once he dies this time, we are going to go ahead and take our break because I do need to switch over to our next game, which will be... Uh, Yeah, I didn't have a choice. All right. All right. 
So I say, um, again, if you like what you saw in the game, I'm on, I believe, PlayStation and the Nintendo Switch, you can wish list the game. Um, so if you like what you saw of the game, please go ahead and wish list it. It does help out the developers when you do wish list their games. So um, again, Clockwork Aquario. Available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 for $19.99 USD. And a very big thank you to the publishers, developer, and PR for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream.